Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. And today I'll be comparing three of the best VPNs in today's market, ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. These three providers have been consistently leading the VPN industry, but at the end of the day, I know most of you just wanna know which one could be the best choice for your needs and your situation, and that's exactly what today's video is meant for. It's to help you make the final choice as to which of these VPNs will suit you best. We'll be looking into things like the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. All right, so starting with the privacy policy, which is arguably the most important aspect of VPN. I mean, why else are you using it? Most VPNs claim a no logs policy, but actually that's almost never the case. So you should never trust a provider's word for it unless they have the evidence to back up their claims. And in this case, all three VPNs do have some form of evidence to show that they indeed uphold their no logs policy. For example, all three VPNs have been independently audited by companies like Cure53 and PricewaterhouseCoopers and have shown their commitment to transparency and protecting users' data by publishing the audit reports, all of which resulted in great standing. And potential issues were promptly dealt with and following each audit. All three are also based in countries that are outside the 5.9 and 14.9 jurisdiction. It is worth noting that most VPNs, if not all, do log information, though said info tends to be aggregated data, crash reports, and user usability diagnostics. So basically things that help the provider improve performance and detect bugs and glitches. However, with these three VPNs, this data never contains personal, identifiable information that can be linked back to a specific user. All three VPNs accept crypto uh, currency as payment. They offer DNS and IP leak protection, and they all run their servers on RAM disks rather than hard disks, which means that they are simply no physical hard drives for the information to be stored. And any minimal information stored by the RAM is erased with every machine reboot. So which one is the more secure? Well, I would say it's pretty close call between Express and Nord but I do have to hand it to ExpressVPN because their no log policy could not have been demonstrated any better than in the real life situation when in, in 2017, the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server as part of an investigation, but we're not able to extract any information out of the servers thanks to Express having not stored any information on their servers in the first place. But. Despite that, all of the VPNs offer a solid no logs policy, certainly good enough to protect you while surfing the web and downloading files. Now, in terms of performance, it's natural for speeds to drop when using a VPN due to the time it takes to encrypt your uh, traffic before it reaches the internet. But despite that, a good VPN will keep those uh, speed drops to a minimum. And all of these VPNs performed very well in our tests. But to sum it up, Nord is certainly the fastest, though Express gave it a good run for its money. And regarding consistency, Express does manage to maintain high speeds even with the international servers, though more often than not, I did notice that Nord was able to reach higher speeds. But overall, the speed drops of most servers were very solid, ranging between 10 and 35%, whereas NordVPN's Nord Lynx protocol managed to surpass both uh, ExpressVPN and Surfshark, making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN you can get. Nord keeps speed drops between 10 and 30%, and sometimes even below 10%, which is outstanding. And following these two will be Surfshark in third place. And while it may be struggling to keep up against Express and Nord, it's not far behind with, with speed drops ranging between 15 and 40%, depending on the servers. Overall, these VPNs are super quick and the winner in this category, without a doubt, is NordVPN. Now, moving on to streaming and torrenting capabilities. All three VPNs allow for torrenting without any throttling or bandwidth limitations. So you can download as many files as you'd like without anyone ever noticing what you're downloading. And this includes your internet service provider. 
And then when it comes to unblocking streaming services without any trouble, here again, all three of these VPNs are great at this. Though it's worth noting that in terms of streaming libraries, ExpressVPN is able to unblock more Netflix libraries and streaming services thanks to the consistent updates their servers go through in order to bypass geo restrictions. And also by virtue of having a wider selection of server locations available than what Nord or Surfshark have to offer. But to be perfectly clear, all three VPNs are able to unblock the most popular libraries such as the North American, European, and Japanese libraries, which I know most of you guys are looking for anyways. It's also worth noting that during the uh, Netflix crackdown on VPN traffic, which made it very difficult for most VPNs to keep up with the geoblocks imposed by Netflix, ExpressVPN was one of the only VPNs that were able to uh, dedicate a few servers that users can use to still access uh, popular Netflix libraries like the US library while Nord and Surfshark took a little longer to figure out a solution to the Netflix VPN crackdown. So I would say in this category, these VPNs are pretty equal, though ultimately I would have to say Express has a slight edge over Nord and Surfshark. Also keep in mind that if your ISP isn't blessing you with the highest of connection speeds and you can't afford to lose out on streaming power, then I recommend that you just stick with the highest performers here, which are Express and Nord. But if your speed is already fast enough for comfortable 4K streaming, then Surfshark will also do the job just fine. All right, now moving on to server and security features, Express has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. Nord has a massive collection of 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And Surfshark provides over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. So while ExpressVPN significantly surpasses both Nord and Surfshark in country count, Unless you're looking for extra servers in South America, Asia, and Middle East, Nord and Surf still have plenty of server locations for most users, especially since most people are looking for servers within the EU, Far East and North American regions. Now, moving on to security features. This is where NordVPN and Surfshark shine. But before we get into that, let's get uh, what all three VPNs have in common, starting with the standard AES 256 bit encryption, a kill switch, which will cut your internet uh, access in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, which prevents any data leaks. And finally, the split tunneling feature, which lets users select which application can go through the VPN tunneling and which are exempt from it. Though, do note that iOS and Mac users won't get split tunneling with Nord and Surfshark, while Express makes it available on all platforms. So that's about the extent of the features of Express. It's made to be fairly bare bones and easy to use, so you won't be getting too many features beside those. Okay, so now that we've got what all three have in common out of the way, let's get into what Nord and Surfshark have in common. Starting with the ad blocker, a specialty servers such as static or dedicated IP servers, as well as multi hop or double VPN servers, which encrypt your, your traffic twice for double the encryption. Uh, exclusive features offered by NordVPN will include Onion Over VPN, which allows you to use both the Onion Anonymizer and the NordVPN together. And users also get P2P specialty servers, although regular servers still allow for P2P activity. These are just specialized servers designed for file sharing. Nord also gives an app kill switch, which will disconnect selected applications when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, rather than cutting your entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. And finally, Nord will give users a hassle-free way to change DNS with custom DNS. Now with Surfshark, the only distinctive feature which sets it apart from Nord is a recently added feature called rotating IP, which will help automatically rotate your IP address while your VPN location stays the same. And this can be very helpful if you're in a censorship heavy country like China, 
coupled with no borders mode, it will help users bypass the Great Firewall of China. And speaking of China, all three VPNs will work just fine in China. Though you want to keep in mind that Surfshark might require some manual configurations to get it to work in China, while Nord might require you to download another version of its application made for those in restrictive countries, which is available on Nord's website. And finally, Express will require nothing at all to get to work in China. It's as simple as plug and play with ExpressVPN, making it the best choice for those traveling to China and Chinese citizens alike. In terms of protocol, all VPNs have a variety of protocols that will suit your needs. Express includes a wide selection, including OpenVPN, IkeV2, L2TP, and their high-speed proprietary protocol, Lightway, which is my number one recommendation. NordVPN uh, simply has OpenVPN and Nord links. And finally, Surfshark has OpenVPN, IkeV2, and the fastest being the WireGuard protocol. Though, keep in mind that some protocols may or may not be available if you're on Mac. So all in all, when it comes to security features, NordVPN and Surfshark are at the top, with NordVPN gaming a bit on the edge over Surfshark. And while Express doesn't have as many features compared to Nord and Surf, Express deliberately chooses to be as simple and as bare bones as it can be for the sake of being as easy to use as possible. Now, with regards to compatibility, all three VPNs support the big four, iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. Besides that, they also support Linux compatible routers, PlayStation, uh, Xbox, Fire TV, Apple TV, as well as Chrome and Firefox, and really most modern devices, really. Overall, all three products support a reasonably wide range of devices. As far as the simultaneous connections, Express will allow for five, Nord will allow for six, and Surfshark will simply let users secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, which makes it very attractive choice for those that don't want to buy compatible routers or additional subscriptions in order to be using more than five or six devices simultaneously. And in terms of user interface, you'll find that each VPN has its own theme and layout, all of which are super easy to use and understand. ExpressVPN goes with the oversimplistic design, which a lot of people really like, myself included. NordVPN goes with the intuitive map design, which I also very much appreciate. And Surfshark goes with a modern interface that's super easy to read and navigate. While each of these VPNs are easy to use and work well uh, for even newbies, it's really a matter of preference which one might suit you best. Now, when it comes to pricing, you get the best deal possible the longer the subscription plan you choose. Also, each VPN tends to offer promotions, discounts or coupon codes. So I provided the best discounts I could get for all three VPNs in the description below. So be sure to check that out. But overall, Express tends to be the most expensive. The lowest price you can get uh, with Express is a little over six and a half dollars per month for a 12 month subscription. Nord is kind of the middle price wise, coming in at about $4 a month for a two year subscription. And Surfshark is the lowest price of all three at a little under two and a half dollars for a two year subscription. So if you're looking for the lowest cost option for a great VPN, Surfshark would be the way to go. And again, remember to check out the links below for an extra discount on each of these. And keep in mind that they all offer a hassle-free 30-day money-back guarantee on all their plans. And they all include 24-7 live chat support in case you need any help or have any questions. All right, so at this point, you might be wondering out of the three, which one is the best? So this really depends on a few factors which I'll explain next. See, if price is your top concern and you just want a VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest uh, possible cost without sacrificing much on security, performance, or features, then just go with Surfshark, as it's a solid choice, especially if you have many devices to secure, or you simply would like to share your account with many friends and family members. Now, if top speeds, download, performance, and feature variety is what you're after, 
then Nord is going to be the best choice. It's such a well-rounded VPN that basically does everything incredibly well. And then if having the utmost privacy, competitively high performance, a huge selection of countries, reliable functionality in China and censorship heavy countries, and absolute ease of use and simplicity are the important ones to you, then ExpressVPN would be the winner. And if you're wondering which VPN is the one I like the most, it's Express. The speeds I get with Express in my location are super close to what I get with Nord, and sometimes they're even a little faster. And for me personally, I prioritize the simplicity and ease of use over the additional features you get with Nord. But these are truly the top three VPNs. These are the ones I recommend regularly to family and friends. So when people ask me which VPN to get, it's one of these three. So for your situation, which of the VPNs do you like the best? And if you're using any of these VPNs, let me know your experience and what you like in the comments below. But otherwise, Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to make a final decision for you. If you found this information helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, uh, that makes my day. And remember to subscribe if you'd like to be part of our cyber family. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.